What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, joined today by... Maple! Again! Welcome back, Maple. Yes. Thanks. See if oh. anyone remembers me. Oh, everyone remembers you. We are playing Star Wars Episode One Racer. It is a pod racing game, and we are going to be doing tournament mode, which is basically the story mode in the game. This game is pretty good. This is, I was, you'd be hard-pressed to find a game that's cross-platform. Maple, this game was actually on the uh, PC and on the Nintendo 64. Mm. And since old PC games can be hard to get running on modern machines, we're actually emulating on a, uh, a, a Nintendo 64 emulator. So that's the version that we'll be playing. Mm, okay. I wish I got more than three letters, but I don't think I do. <laughs> I'm just going to have to go, like... <laughs> Pern. It's the best we can do. <laughs> <laughs> you could just be Cho. No, that'd sound like Cho Chang. Cho Cho. Alright, so we got different... You can play different pods. Now, if you're a total lame-ass, you can play as Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> and you get to listen to his little childish exclamations throughout the races. Uh, but I don't like to play as Anakin. There's, they're up there are better racers. You can see there's a bunch of different uh, things there. The vehicle statistics. And none of them at this point are going to have a very good top speed. You just flip around and look at these guys. They're all sort of meh. <laughs> uh, they're just okay. And I think for the uh, first two races, you, you actually can can swap them around for a bit. And once you start winning races, you can uh, unlock more pods. I'm gonna start with just uh, with Odie Mandrill just because he's got good acceleration. And so here's here's how this goes. Basically, we're gonna play a series of races, and you have to place. It'll tell you what you have to get. So you have to place fourth or better to progress and unlock the next race. And then it tells you who the track favorite is, which of course it's Sebulba on Tatooine. <laughs> and then it tells you down there the winnings, how much money you get if you win. So we want to get first. And there are uh, loads of things that you can... I don't know what button Z is. Uh, I guess it's... Is it this one? <laughs> I, don't know if my, I don't know if it's working. Whatever. I'm trying to... Oh, here we go. It's jo Oh, it says joystick too. Okay, yeah. It's just a little bonus. There's E.B. Endicott standing over there. You can look. You can look around while you're using the menu. I think he's just a bartender. He doesn't race. Neither does he. Uh, yeah, but the menu's usually just sitting over here. So uh, let's see. You can look at your vehicle and get upgrades and things. You can buy parts, or you can go to the junkyard and you get to deal with uh, Watto. <laughs> uh, you know, right now we just want to get into a friggin' race. <coughs> so let's do it. I'm actually playing this with a, uh, with a joystick. Can you believe it, Maple? This this joystick is from like. 97 or something like that. It's so <laughs> old. We got it with when we had uh, Windows 95. Wow. Th that's when we bought this game for the PC. It was on Windows 95. Wow. Well, it's nice that it still works. Yeah, it actually works better now than it did then. Minor <laughs> that's graphical. incredible. Minor graphical glitches there, guys. Sorry about that. Just, that comes with the emulators sometimes. So basically, this first race is so easy, I'm not even going to have to look at the screen much. But yeah, oh, I'm trying something. <laughs> Maybe you might have to look at the screen. Yeah, I guess I'll look, I'll look at the screen occasionally. But it's basically with the joystick controls. And this joystick was so easy to get installed, too. I was astounded. Like, I think it's just Windows 7. It's just good at doing this sort of thing. And all, all you have to do... This is a joystick from, like, 90, late 90s. I take it and plug it in, 2012, into my Windows 7 machine. And it takes all of 30 seconds from when I plugged in the USB to when it said, Oh, you can use it. And then I freaked and blew up. That's not that much of a penalty, actually. It just puts you back where you were. <laughs> You're supposed to sneak through there, but I, I always mess it up. It doesn't matter. This race is so easy. When we come, we actually come back to this track later, and when we do, we have to actually do it right. I'm gonna... Uh, yeah. There's a lot to talk about in these first couple of episodes. But, uh, let's see. We just, uh... Maple is visiting me, actually. Yep. We were hanging out for a week. Ah! I'm gonna make this jump. Oh! <laughs> Made it. You're supposed to, now you're actually supposed to go up there. That's, that isn't where the track is. <laughs> <laughs> you have the sand people shooting at you. Yeah, you do actually on one of the <laughs> tracks. Okay. It's so cool. It's, That's one, awesome. it's one of the other Tatooine tracks. Neat. It's freaking great. They put as many things from the movie in as they could. And some of them feel like they're shoehorned, but some of them really fit. <laughs> I always like the tracks. Yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, the plugging in this joystick, it was all of 30 seconds from when I plugged it in to when, it's when it was ready to go. And I just opened up the emulator and then like, freaking A. I really suck at that. It's just because I refuse to slow down. 
Yeah, and it just freaking works. I can't believe it. If you tried to do that on a Windows 95 machine, you spend half an hour, you have to get the installation CD and all this nonsense. It's a new lap record! Yeah! Work my record. Crashing into the walls and everything. <laughs> but yeah, Maple, you're a pretty big Star Wars fan, aren't you? Yeah. One of my earliest memories is sitting on my dad's lap watching the Star Wars, and he had to read the title sequence to me. <laughs> that young. Yeah, well, I mean, I, well, I could read, just not that fast. Which of the episodes is your favorite? Uh... I don't know. It's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, they just work together so well. They do. I, when I, whenever I watch them, I always find myself watching all three. So yeah, you have to. I don't. And I guess when I say all three, I should clarify. Oh, no, you don't have to clarify. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have to clarify. We're playing a game, we're playing a game based on the first episode. Okay, so. well... It seems like whenever I do the boost thing, I get these graphical glitches in the sky. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna pretend it means I'm going that damn fast. You see my engine's on fire? <laughs> I do that on purpose at the end. If you boost for too long, which you just do by pushing forward on the joystick and clicking the button, <coughs> the engines will catch on fire. And it's uh, bad news. <laughs> well, at least, at least the, the end of that lapse. Yeah, that's the end of the race. Yeah, look at that. We beat Spobble by, what, eight seconds? That's ridiculous. Yeah, I didn't see him. And we won 1,200 true guts. <laughs> what is a true gut? Is that, that's, not, that's not a galactic credit. Yeah, well, they don't really accept galactic credits on, on Tatooine. <laughs> credits will define. Credits will not define. <laughs> don't you use your Jedi mind tricks on etc. Ah, uh, your mind tricks don't work on me. Yeah. Uh, so now we're doing the Mon Gossa Speedway. This one's fun. Uh, and like basically there's different circuits here. This is the amateur one, the first one here. If, and if you go to the right, there's seven races to do in this circuit. If you go down, there's other circuits you can do. Semi-Pro, Galactic Pod Racing. So these last seven are hard races. I think it's somewhere around the third, uh, like the Galactic Pod Racing circuit, this hardest circuit. Somewhere around race four or five there will be a race that I will have to do many times because it always has given me trouble. Really? But these first ones are pretty easy. So we're going to try and go for another win here. <laughs> they give you a variety of tracks too. Some of them are really long, lots of straightaways. <laughs> I've heard a little bit of the announcers from the movie. <laughs> <laughs> You see, Odie's got such good acceleration, you're off the block faster than anybody else. Now, if I remember correctly, this is a racetrack where you can't boost very much because it's got a lot of short straightaways and corners. And you have to actually slow down in order to make it through the corners, like this one in particular, I think. I don't have to, I played this game a lot as a kid, and I, to be honest with you, I don't know if I ever beat it. I know I got to that one really hard race in the third circuit, and I'm not sure if I ever beat that race. Huh. If I ever beat that race, I would have finished the game, because I would have only been a couple races away from the end. I just lapsed some people. Wow. <laughs> oh my uh, gosh. Yeah, these first two races are easy. Yeah, but I don't know if I ever beat it. It was a really difficult... Oh, balls. That's going to set me back a little bit. We're still way out in first place, though. Yeah, I, if I, I don't know if I ever beat it. It was a really hard race. And I think as a kid, I part of what, what the problem was is that I probably just absolutely refused to break and slow down the corners. <laughs> and I remember that race, and we'll know it when I get to it, when we get to it, because I'll, I'll recognize it from the fact that the tr sides of the track don't have walls like this track does. It just has edges, and you're up in the sky. Oh, wow. I don't know if the race is on Bezpin or what. I can't remember. But if you go off the edge of the track, you just freaking fly off, and it takes forever for you to die and respawn on the track. And that's why you always, that's why I always lost, because you fall off once and you're like last place. Ah, oh, gosh. And there were, there were a couple of shortcuts you could take where you had to make jumps, and they were really hard jumps. <laughs> oh, sweet, look at this. We've unlocked another pod racer, and I am so happy. This is the guy I'd like to use for the whole game. His name is, uh, let's see if it tells us here actually at the screen. We want another 1,200 trugets. Cool beans. So did we... Let's see. Whenever it shows that animation of it br bringing the pot in, that means you unlocked a new racer. Oh, now that isn't the guy I thought it was. No, that's yeah, not, it's not... That's not the guy it looked like. That's that's the same pod. But that's not the one I, that's one, that's not the one I thought. That's the track favorite from that race that we just won. Team Toe... 
Pagalis, Pagalis, or whatever. He's had a pretty good pod, actually. We'll switch to him. we'll switch to him now. Now we got Beto's Wild Ride. This one's on Ando Prime, which is an ice track, so mm. it's a very long, it's a long <laughs> race, and it's got some sections where there's ice that you slip on. Oh. Uh. Yeah, you lose your traction there. I don't know if you ever get to race on any of the other uh, planets from the movies. I mean, Tatooine is the only one I can think of that's in this game. <laughs> the current record holder for this track is... Alvar Beto! Yeah, they named a race after him. <laughs> <laughs> this is another one I remember being kind of tricky because you have to be careful in certain parts where you have to kind of thread the needle, like in that one part on Tatooine. I want right. to go up there, actually. Yeah, there's an ice cave there. There's a shortcut. Crap, I should have taken that. I think yeah, on the next lap. Oh, I think on the next lap. Yeah. Ooh, careful. You hit one of those rocks, you're not going to do well. <laughs> pretty good shortcut. It shoots you out right here. Nice. I have to be careful you don't fly off the bridge, though. <laughs> you can. And this corner, I always hit that wall. We'll see how much this comes back to me. As a kid, I would have likely played through the beginning of the game a whole lot, and then just got stuck on that one race at the end. Now, there's supposed to be an air brake, but I don't know how to use the damn thing. You pull... Oh, Jesus. Ah! Oh, freak. Wow. Oh, good lord, there's no traction there. I can't believe only one person passed us. It must be the track favorite up there. Yeah, he's not happy with you. Yeah, and the other races aren't, aren't, <laughs> using, their, aren't using their boost ability right now. That's why it's so easy to pass it. Uh, they haven't caught on. Or they're not here. quite as suicide. I think I'm going to go right. If I remember correctly, you want to go right here. Oh no, I balls it up. I didn't take the shortcut, I just went up on this side. Whatever. Ooh. This is the part I remember. We have to go through these caves. There's there are definitely better whenever you have choices on these tracks, there's always one way that's definitely the, the shortcut. The better way mm. to take the, the, the track. Oh, oh I'm get past. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> It's a new left record. And I put that crap right in the middle of the track right there. <laughs> but of course. Oh yeah. I'm not trying to go up this time. Nope, didn't make it in time. Oh. You have to get you have to get right on that one <coughs> it appears. I didn't miss your chance. So what's your first impression of the game, Maple? Don't miss the bridge. Oh. I'd have to say I'm kind of dizzy. A little bit? <laughs> it's a little bit. Oh, it seemed pretty neat, though. Oh, yeah, I tell you, the frame rate's good. That's yeah. That's there, at least. Yeah, definitely. I was... And I remember watching the episode one when I was still pretty little. I oh, mean, good lord. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> nice, can't, you can't steer guy. in the air. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... But, I mean, the pod race is definitely my favorite part of the... of episode one. Oh, yeah, the rest of it didn't make any sense. <laughs> Have you seen the review? The Red Letter Media Review? No. Oh, we're gonna have to watch it. That's one of the things we're gonna do. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. I mean, to me, that is definitely better than 2 and 3. The first one? Episode 1, I uh, know, definitely. Oh, yeah. Because it doesn't, didn't have whiny Anakin in it. Yeah, at least he didn't have didn't to have, have that, that ridiculous romance subplot. It was horrendous. It was, it was I mean, horrendous. I mean, I actually liked Ami Doll in the first movie, and then she had yeah, Jerk Boy after In the her, first movie, like, she was. An effective leader. She yeah, and she was. And she was in charge of things. And yeah, and she was just you know, powerful and knew what to do. She was a strong just, black woman who don't need no man. Um. <laughs> I guess you haven't seen that going around. Uh, but yeah. And then the second one, and the third one, it was like, what happened? It's just like, just, just, just the dialogue between them was horrendous. It was so lame, and it had. It's it, like, it, it was, and it was like a Twilight style exactly, romance too. Exactly. Exactly. It was, it was like, oh, we shouldn't. We shouldn't do this. It's not right. Oh well, I'm, I'm doing sworn that right. to never love. And it's like, what? Come on. Just fuck already. <clears throat> or Amidala actually be intelligent like you were in the first movie and yeah. leave off the loser. And be like, no, you're this is you're freaking trouble. Like, not only are you a Jedi and banned from being in relationships, you're also clearly mentally unstable. And a whole lot younger than you. 
Oh yeah, how much younger is he? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to make a jump here. On I'd the say right like side. Oh, I can't, can't turn. Okay, whoa, I don't know, like whoa. ten years. Something like that. Yeah, let I me mean, think about. It. She was a ruling queen when he was like. Yeah, 10. she was the youngest queen. She was a young queen. That's true. But she couldn't have been more. Than, she couldn't have been less than like. 22 or 23. I thought she was younger than that. Younger than that, you think? Yeah, I think. I don't that's... know in canon what she actually was. I'm just going by the age of the actress. Okay. Whatever. I thought I'd heard her age. She looked. Oh god, my engine's on fire. There's a button you can push that just holds down and it repairs your engines. That's what that thing in the bottom left is. That's the engine gauge. Did the other one this time. Oh, yeah, this one's shorter, but there's ice in the middle. That's right. Oh, I need to make a big hard turn here. Ooh. Yeah, there's a button over here that repairs your engines. So you see in the bottom left, they change color. They're green when they're square and they're good to go. And then they turn yellow and orange and red. And when they're red, they're calling on fire. <laughs> <laughs> so, just probably fix them before that. But yeah, so far these haven't been very hard at all. And we unlocked another pod racer! I'm, I'm waiting for somebody in particular and it's not him. Yep, you think that you'd... So now we've unlocked a track, fa track favorite on two of the three, uh, but we didn't unlock Sebulba for the first race. <laughs> they kind of save him. He's basically a uh, a boss for later on. He's a... <laughs> well, not a boss, but he's, I think, the crowd favorite for race seven of this series, which is back uh, on Tatooine. Right. And that's when you unlock him, I think. Okay. But before that long, I think we're going we're gonna to get the guy I really like. Ah, Clegg Holdfast. That's not him either. Hmm. Oh, no, here, it's, it's this one that you can do to unlock him, I think. But this is a tough, that's a tough track there. I think what I'm going to do is just save my money and uh, until we get down to that track. And then once we unlock him, I'll play as him. Because all of this buy parts and stuff, that's uh, for upgrading your your race statistics. Okay. So when you look at like traction and turning and stuff like that. Right now, uh, Timo is probably a, a decent racer for, the, for a while at least. Beat us <laughs> sucks. Uh, <laughs> He'll, he'll carry us through this, the rest of this circuit, I think. Okay. But then eventually, you see his top speed's not very good. Mm -hmm. You can get some ridiculous stuff in the, in the later ones. <laughs> I might even try a different one, actually. Because I like a little bit more top speed than that, but none of these pods really have it. Uh, Eevee's good. We'll play Eevee Endicott. You unlock him from the very beginning. He's one of the starting uh, racers. Starting pods? Mm-hmm. Ooh, cutscenes. <laughs> All the way up to race four of the first series. Oh, I hate this track. <laughs> it's got these the big sections where it splits. Yeah, this track has like figure eight sections oh, no. that are not very fun to drive through. You'll see, you'll see when we get to them. Oh wow, he overheats really quickly. Yeah, that's, that, that's what the cooling uh, stat is for on your start race. It's how fast that bar goes up when you're boosting. Oh, you want to hit that jump if you can. It gives you a great advantage. Basically, the way you want to run those jumps is you want to hit them with a lot of speed, get some air. I'm going to freaking crash. Jeez. Get some air and then try and get a boost going uh, as you go up them so you can get more out of it, but there are some places where you don't want to be boosting when you jump, because you will- Freak! That's why I hate this track! I've forgotten what it was. It's not <laughs> just the figure eights, it has these doors that slide back and forth. Oh and no. I, if I went to the left side, and the first one was wide open, and the second one was completely closed. Here's a good jump. Pull back on the joystick to get more air, and it also softens your landing. If you push forward on it, it's going to uh, turn the nose of the pod down, and it'll crash into the ground. This is a damage to your engines that won't make you blow up unless you're ready. <laughs> <sighs> what do you think of my racing style? Maybe we'll stop <laughs> this game or what? A bit reckless. Reckless driver. A bit reckless, yeah. Is it, is it better or worse than the way I actually drive? <laughs> uh, I, I would say it's definitely. Let's slow down for this because I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> I was hitting the brakes and turning, and I just you, you have to really slow down for this. Well, see, I don't. I don't think you've actually crashed while driving. So. No, I haven't. <laughs> ah, 
Okay, that's one lap. <laughs> Two deaths, and it's a new lap record because it's the first time we've done this track. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, this might be a little bit. This game might be a little bit too easy in the beginning if you can blow up this many times and still win a race. <laughs> just because the other cars aren't aren't fast or bullet pods. Mm. I guess they're just teaching it to you. Yeah, see how much that that I cut off that track. Wow, you, that's you get good. so much more speed through the air. I think it has something to do with like the drag of the of the car or the pod around it. I'm mm -hmm. not sure exactly what the what the canon explanation is, but you go really fast when you're boosting through the air. But I was <laughs> I was trying to brake. At least they're nice enough there to put you after them uh, when you crash into those. I'll try and make it through there properly on the next lap so you can actually <laughs> see what that area is supposed to look like. I think the Endicott's cooling is pretty good. He seems to be able to boost quite a bit before he competes. Yeah, I guess you can check after. I think I noticed it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. He has a couple really good stats that you wouldn't think, but actually turn out to be useful. <laughs> if your top speed's not so hot, but you have a lot of cooling ability on your engines, you can keep that boost going for a long time. Mm. That's good. Yeah, you gotta slow down to like 300 Whoa! to get through here. Notice there's no units on that speedometer. I don't know <laughs> what that's supposed to be. Is that... Like, probably not miles per hour. I, I Considering... Bet. I'm sure it's their own units if they're paying you and, and whatever they're paying you. True guts, yeah. yeah. But so I don't know how fast that actually is in, in canon. <laughs> Any idea? I <laughs> have no idea. Does it, does it ever say in the case you get any useful units with you? Uh -huh. I suppose Earth doesn't exist in the Star Wars universe in the unusual sense. No. It's in a galaxy far, far away. That's a lot of Earth's in this galaxy. It's 590 gigawatts. <laughs> That's how fast it is. Exactly. It's in giga miles. <laughs> okay, I think we're coming up on that part with the doors. Freak! I just... Look at those! They, ah, there's two of them, and they slide back and forth. There's another race on this track that we're going to have to do later in the game. And if you don't make the doors on that race, you will not win. So, oh. this first circuit is amateur racing. They just... Uh, my, dam my damage was so damaged from that fact that I just scraped on that wall that when I uh, tried to use the boost it blew up. There. Oh gosh. So you cannot just use the boost to get through. Oof. There's a fine line between how hard, between hitting a wall and having a little crash, or hitting the wall and having a fiery death. <laughs> These pods do brake fairly well. If you're, uh, if you're ready and you hit the brakes soon enough, you pull back on the joystick, I think that slows down a little bit more. Makes sense the reason to mm -hmm. the forward makes a boost. And best, you still won. Yeah, not my best performance on that track, but still a victory. Yeah. For EB and the court. That got us some more money. Yeah. Money's. Money, 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 money. And another race car is unlocked. This will be Clay Cold Fast. The track favorite from the track we just did. <laughs> Don't you love the graphics? It's also polygonal. Very <laughs> nice. Another 1200 Trugets. Look at Fud Sang. <laughs> what is that? And Ellen Mack looks like he's doing like a duck face. Like, oh, sticking his lips out. Look at that. Uh, Nima Key down at the bottom there. She's actually a pretty good racer. I think it's a she. I don't know. Uh, you, you, you run into her in later tracks. It's funny, they, they change up who's a good racer and who isn't <laughs> from one circuit to the next. So I think I'm going to stop there because these next three races are going to be kind of tough and they'll probably take about as much time as these did. So uh, I think I'm going to end the video there. So uh, <laughs> thanks for uh, host commentating. Thanks. Well, thanks for having me back. And uh, thank you to you guys for watching. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Episode 1 Pod Racer.